Yes. So earlier at one of the morning announcements, someone alluded to the difficulty of getting the dolphins with the fezes uh, in through customs and such. Is that a story anyone is interested in telling? The question is, was it difficult getting the dolphins with the fezes through customs? <laughs> it's not so much a specific difficulty, just the process of designing... Uh, well, let, me, let me talk for about ten minutes about creating plush toys. <laughs> we, 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 we got time. We gave, we, we gave our... Yes, a plush toy. Let's define our terms. Dolphins evolved... Uh, <laughs> Ancient aliens, oh, okay, let me sum up, um, but we gave ourselves what we thought would be absolutely plenty of time, and then we added another couple of months to it, but just through the design process, and then they make a prototype, and they send that, and you make notes on the prototype, and it goes back and forth, and then the actual manufacturing process, uh, the dolphins were assembled in China because at that scale, pretty much anything you want to get made is done in China. We did do research on this. Uh, it wasn't just a give us the cheapest possible thing anywhere, but it was the company we found most reliable uh, and, and conscious about uh, uh, workplace issues and such. Uh, and then just getting 1,200 plush dolphins manufactured and then put on a cargo ship and floated across the sea. And then, as they are wont to do, they just sort of wander around outside Long Beach uh, Harbor. And, then, and it was one of those things where we'd only we'd get there, there's certain points along the way where you don't get any sort of, you know it's on, on the ocean somewhere. And then it shows up at the harbor, and oh goody, our container has been randomly selected for more detailed customs processing, which could take two days and it could take a week and a half. As it turns out, the, the translation into Chinese back into English of plush dolphin is smuggling cocaine. <laughs> Uh, so it, it wasn't so much an arduous process as just the timing kept getting a little more and more nail bitey in a way that we always try to avoid, yet somehow it always manages to, to happen that way. And it, and it all worked out fine, as you saw. Uh, but it was one of those where the week before we needed it on a pallet and sent to this ship, it was, there was a question mark as to exactly when it was going to show up. Guys, just a little thing that occurred to me, just a note for next year. Yeah. I don't think we should get our cocaine from China anymore. <laughs> I've got it to be lacking. I feel like it's too, it's, it's too far away. I feel like there are places that are closer where you can probably get better cocaine. Amer <laughs> American cocaine for Let's American get noses, American. is what you're saying. That's right. Cocaine for my real friends, real cane for my co-friends. <laughs>